what's up guys and welcome again with another video from code review io i just want guys to apologize that i haven't uploaded video recently but here we are again if you are new here please consider to subscribe and hit the notification button to get the latest video and let's get started so flutter navigation has been recently uh, updated the navigation and routing to 2.0 uh, so you can still use to 1.0 but for this video we will use 2.0 so the idea is actually when the system initially start it will uh, fetch the route to the uh, to the state and it will take uh, via the information uh, the route information parser and that will uh, uh, via the route delegate it will uh, restart the up uh, build for um, for the for the widgets and whenever the actions or any actions will be triggered then this will trigger the route delegate and in the, in the same case it will trigger the app state and via the information parser it will uh, trigger another uh, build and in this case it will update also the route state so this is the theory guide i will always go to the practical guide and it will be really easy so we start first by creating flutter app via the command line uh, flutter command line we change the uh, my app to cake recipe so our app will be cake recipes or uh, and also we will remove the comments here and we don't need them and we will print just the uh, center uh, and uh, the text in the center of the screen so we are going also to change the name of the app instead of flutter demo to cake recipes and also we will make a new uh, models and inside the models we will make recipe model in this class we this class will have uh, all the instance about the recipe and it's needed when we create a new recipe so we will have the name and then we will have the category and also we will have the shift name so now we will define also our constructor we pass the instances to it and we are also going to create a new list recipes so i have made some uh, recipes uh, cake recipes uh, and use it uh, use it as a uh, as a constant here because we don't want this one to be changed and it's for now it's kind of like our state so our state will have the recipes uh, array and and this is kind of like singleton pattern that we don't want this one uh, to be changed now we are going to make uh, the screens so our app will have uh, three screens uh, one is for the uh, recipe or re uh, recipe details and the other one uh, is called recipes which is considered as a home screen and we will have also another screen this is for in case of the uh, unknown route so we will use unknown route or 404 404 screen and that will make sure that uh, instead if we don't have any route or the route doesn't match what we send then uh, it will print the 404 uh, we fill the, this screen for now for uh, with any dummy data or any dummy uh, built widgets these widgets will uh, print just the container for now and we will fill it for the data later on so we will start first by recipe screen which is our home screen we will pass our recipes to this screen we will make sure this is imported and also we will pass on top and we will make sure this is required in our uh, app then we start with uh, also doing the scaffold because this is a separate screen so and then we do the children and we iterate through uh, uh, the recipes list in this case we will just print the list tile here inside a uh, list view and we pass the title and uh, and the, the category as a subtitle for the list type and we will make sure also that uh, on top it will pass the uh, it will take the recipe to it so instead of using this tab we will just say this on top and then we pass the recipe to it now we will go and implement the uh, uh, recipe details screen so we see that uh, we already uh, passed the recipe uh, as an instance and we make sure that it's in required in the constructor and we start building the scaffold so we start with the app bar and we put the recipe.name as a title for the app bar 
and uh, we have also a navigator and then we make sure that the navigator works in this case normally or maybe by default it, this this will uh, not need it so you don't need to implement it because by default the behavior of the native it will be uh, it will be go back and uh, I mean and it will go back and then you will see the arrow key uh, arrow icon so to, to press it uh, in the body we will do uh, implementing for the uh, for uh, for the recipe which so we do the column uh, instead inside the padding uh, widget and we separate operator the array uh, inside the column for children for the widget children and we make sure that the recipe name recipe category and recipe shift will be there and we put some styling to it so just to make sure that uh, to uh, differentiate it uh, to than the others uh, in the case of the name we just use the headline one and uh, in category uh, we will use the headline uh, we will use the subtitle because this is exist inside the uh, text team and then we will use also the subtitle too for the head uh, for the shift for the now screen we will need to just to uh, print out anything in the screen that uh, give the user the ability to go back or something like this so now we are going to implement the app uh, component or our navigator so instead of using the cake recipe we will move the cake recipe here from the main dart to the up dart so instead of using this one inside i need to be the main dart to be uh, really clear and uh, clean so it doesn't have any uh, that much logic so we make sure there uh, in the app dart we implement the material app and we will make sure also that all the app is imported and then we will move to uh, to make the app as a stateful in this case because we don't have a, an app state so we will use the uh, widget state so we don't use a global state here uh, in this case we also uh, make sure that a recipe a selected recipe as type of recipe show unknown as uh, by default is false and then we imported the recipes from the global recipes the singleton that we talked about already in the init uh, state we need to make sure that the selected recipe is equal to no oops this uh, should not be uh, final so uh, the thing is uh, uh, at, in the beginning of the app in the initial app this should be a null, otherwise it, it will throw an error. In the material uh, down, we will start using, instead of the center, we will start using the navigator. Navigator has two important uh, childs, or maybe two important instances. One of them is on pop page, and the second one is the pages that you need to implement. So on pop, uh, on, uh, pop page, uh, this one, this uh, take, uh, a route type of uh, dynamic and also take a result uh, and return a boolean so in this case we need to return to uh, it should return to uh, in this case otherwise if, if she uh, if there, there there is no result it should return false so you will see this uh, we will implement it later but we will see just this return as true uh, <coughs> sorry for that so and in the pages we will just try to use material page so you cannot use any widgets here we just need to use a material page and then we put the value as a value key and this one should be unique so otherwise the navigator will not determine which uh, which type of key and which type of widget he needs to uh, he needs to to uh, fire or maybe to show and the child and the child we will use the recipe screen as i said as a home screen and we will pass the recipes and we will pass the on top page and this one also we need to implement it by uh, selecting the recipe now we need to implement on top recipe so this function we just say on top recipe this will return void so there is no return actually and then uh, it will we will pass the recipe to it as we did in the uh, recipes uh, screen and then we will just select the uh, set the state to the selected recipe to this uh, to, to this recipe that we will be sent now we will do some condition so we will make sure that if show unknown is uh, is true then we need to uh, um, show the material page that uh, or maybe we need to show the unknown screen 
here we implement the value key as unknown as i said this is unique and it should uh, it's required because otherwise the navigator will not determine which screen is it and then we will pass the, uh, the unknown screen as a child in case uh, in case of there is no unknown and there is a selected uh, recipe then we need to show the selected recipe uh, screen and in this case we just put the selected recipe and we will pass this, uh, the child uh, we will pass the child to, as a recipe detail screen and then a recipe to the to, to its constructor as a selected recipe in this case we need also to pack if you uh, check we put also to do to implement the on uh, pop up uh, on pop page it's a bit uh, strange uh, so if we we check if the uh, route did uh, uh, pop up with the result it's not exist then it will be false and in this case we need to uh, we need to reset uh, the state so because on pop page this function uh, fired with every time the navigator to pop uh, will be uh, clicked so we need to reset the state here in this case and with this implementation i think our app is done so we are going to test uh, our app so we, we, as we can see the app is uh, is a bit i mean the th the theme or maybe the text is really big so we need to make some adjustment here and maybe we need to remove the theme because it's not necessary and also if we go to recipes with uh, recipes details we see the, the theme uh, in the navigator so we remove the background and then uh, we make the text uh, I mean the name is a bit smaller and also in the recipes we put a app bar and then we assign it to cake recipes and then in this case we have our app ready and done stay tuned for, for the next video when we are going to implement the declarative way dynamic declarative navigator see you next time ciao